It's Rum B360. If you haven't got your hands on the PlayStation 5 yet and you want a game on your PlayStation 4 with a keyboard and mouse, you've come to the right place. Let me show you how it works. Just don't forget to like and subscribe if this video helped you. The easiest way to use a keyboard and mouse on your PlayStation 4 is to grab an old or new USB keyboard and mouse and plug it into one of the USB ports. Now you can control your PlayStation 4 with your keyboard. Just keep in mind you can't use the mouse in the PlayStation user interface. But what you can do is change your keyboard and mouse settings if you go to settings, then to devices and then to external keyboard. Here you can change the keyboard type, the key repeat delay and the key repeat rate. Which is pretty cool, because you don't have this option on the Xbox. And if you go back and select mouse, you can change the mouse type to left or right handed. And even change the pointer speed. So what about the games? When we look at Warframe, the keyboard and mouse seem to work pretty good. It's very responsive, but there isn't a single overview of the buttons. There is also no option to change the keyboard and mouse settings so it can be a challenge to use in the beginning. But once you figure it out, you can have a lot of fun playing Warframe with a keyboard and mouse. Fortnite on the other hand is a different story. If you go to the left top of your screen, then select this icon and go to settings, you can change the keybinds in the keyboard settings. Or you can select the mouse options and change the sensitivity, mouse flight and tank settings. Once you've done this, you can jump into the game and immediately experience how awesome keyboard and mouse gaming actually is on the PlayStation 4. It works just a lot better for building and aiming. You can aim faster and more accurate, so it's easier to make some kills and level up. Just be warned, you need to get ready for a lot more joy dancing. When we look at Call of Duty Warzone, you get a lot of keyboard and mouse configuration options. Just select options on the down left of your screen and then always select keyboard and mouse as the input device or else it won't work in game. Once you've done that, you can adjust everything to your personal needs from movement, weapons and equipment, kill streaks and more. Now go on and jump into the battlefield and start taking that number one spot. The thing I've noticed on all three games is that you need to use your controller in the main menu to start the game. And after that, you can use your keyboard and mouse. So keep your controller close to you at all times. Another thing to mention is that the controller will vibrate when you're getting hit in games. This can be distracting when you're gaming on your keyboard and mouse. Luckily you can easily resolve this by holding the PlayStation button on your DualShock controller. Then go to Sound and Devices and select Turn Off Device. Now you can just use your keyboard and mouse while gaming without getting distracted by the DualShock rumble. So which apps can you use with a keyboard and mouse? The internet browser works, but not as you would expect, as you can only use the keyboard but not the mouse. Which is kind of a bummer, as it works just fine on the Xbox. So I would not recommend using it on the PlayStation 4. Streaming apps like YouTube, Netflix, HBO Max and so on also only work with a keyboard. But because the user interface is more user friendly, it's more than usable without a mouse. So which games are you going to try out with a keyboard and mouse on the PlayStation 4? Let me know in the comments. But if you don't know which games are supported, click on this video. So you can start playing some awesome games. See you there.